Testing, testing, one, two. Uh, this is my first video on my Senna TC. Tried it out this morning. Uh, need to figure out how to connect the app. It was not as intuitive as I made it seem. Just leaving work, get my Friday started. Got to go pick up my dog from the vet. Unfortunately, had some issues with the paw, so they had to do some cleaning out of that uh, abscess that she had gotten on there. So it's not been a fun week with her. Uh, beautiful day here in Arizona. 70 something degrees right now. It's normally like 80, 90, so getting a little break from that, which is really nice. I am riding a CB500F Honda 2015. I bought this bike brand new about three years ago. I'm about to pay it off. Uh, I might do a review at some point before I sell it um, and upgrade. I haven't decided exactly what I'm going to upgrade to. I like the bike. It's a great bike, especially to learn on, very forgiving. Brakes are good. This one doesn't have ABS, but it does have good brakes. I'm never worried about being able to stop in time. Of course, I don't ride super aggressively. This thing it's got some get up and go. It's not going to knock your socks off, though. I mean, I think top speed may be in the 90s. So we could probably get it above 100. I'm a little bit bigger guy, about 230, so I don't know if I could. Never really tried. It's not really my, my thing. It's nice to accelerate fast sometimes, but overall top speed that's not my thing which is why i'm considering getting a cruiser next uh what kind of cruiser is really what i'm kind of stuck on so to consider to getting some type of uh, adventure bike almost uh, a versus 650 or the new honda cb 500x uh, which comes with a brand new wheel 19-inch uh, wheel, I think, in the front. Uh, a little bit upgraded suspension. A lot better than the old 500X. However, uh, it's basically the same engine I have right now. So, you know, uh, I've never ridden adventure style. So I don't know if that's really something I want to pursue right off the bat. Just had a daughter five months ago. So it's just something to consider. Uh, another thing to consider is safety. So I've been tossing around maybe getting a dual sport, a CRF 250L Rally. I might go see it at the dealership tomorrow. I'm not sure. There's one for sale right now, brand new, uh, 2018 for 38.88, which is actually a decent price uh, for a newer bike. I haven't seen any used ones, or uh, maybe check out that avenue. But I've uh, been reading and watching videos on that specific bike. Suspension would be something I'd have to upgrade pretty quickly, I think, especially for a guy my size. So, again, haven't really decided what I'm going to upgrade to here. Um, or downgrade to. I guess if I go with the 250, that's actually going the, the opposite way, which a lot of people don't do. But, you know, i got to take into account what I do on a daily basis, how often I ride. And really, I ride this motorcycle to work maybe once or twice a week right now. Arizona is about to get really hot, and uh, it's not any fun, in my opinion, riding above 100 degrees, like riding through a blow dryer. So, uh, with all that taken into consideration, there's a lot of trails around here for, for off-road vehicles, and you know, trying to be a responsible father, it's just something I've considered, but again, haven't really made a decision yet. Uh, the cruisers I was looking at, or the Vulcan S, as I mentioned earlier, got to test drive that a few weeks ago, and very impressed with it. Very nice bike. Um, however, you know, again, haven't haven't just made the call on that. Uh, you know, obviously, there's always the appeal of a Harley Davidson. You know, probably have to get in on the lower models, maybe a Super Low or Iron 883. Um, also, we're looking at the Yamaha Bolt. Supposedly a pretty good little cruiser bike, so decision decisions 
not going to pull the gun anything probably this weekend, but uh, we will see. We'll see what happens. I, uh, my first video, I don't even know if I'm going to post this. It's really just me testing out this camera. Sent a 10C Pro. Got an okay deal on Revzilla. Actually, I had ordered another one. It was a really good deal. I think it was the older model, not the Pro model. Uh, and then they emailed me and said, hey, uh, we see that you ordered it and paid for it, but unfortunately we're out of stock, so kind of made a little bit of a fuss, and they gave me a discount on the on the Pro model. So that's what I'm trying out today. Pretty easy to install on my helmet. The hardest part was probably just getting the pads on my helmet uh, back in. I couldn't really, never really taken apart a helmet, so I did struggle with that a little bit, but the actual setup itself was was not difficult. The buttons and how to use it are not super intuitive, but once you get it down, it's, it's not anything anything you can't deal with. You just got to be careful not to fidget with it when you're supposed to be paying attention, which you know, I'm not a moto vlogger yet, if ever, but just something to can consider if that's what you're thinking of doing. I see, I cannot see past this big truck. Pulled out in the crosswalk here, not sure why. Alright, get out in front of everybody. So as you can see, I mean it's got some get up and go. 60, 0 to 60 in less than five seconds probably. You can beat most cars, I would say, off the line. Maybe some kitted out, you know, muscle car or something. Probably beat you, but everything else, you should be able to get out of here. Avoid danger. Very flickable. Uh, good power band, good distribution. It's not going to do anything that really surprises you. Now, if you're a new rider and you've never ridden anything more than a 250, I mean, it's going to feel super powerful the first few, few weeks you're riding it probably. And, you might get a little scared simply because you're not used to the throttle on it or whatever. But again, it's not gonna it's not gonna get out from under you. It's not gonna wheelie on you unintentionally or really, you know, put you in a terrible situation. So. It's a high rever, red lines, 8500. You can go highway, just fine. A little buzzy, yeah, no doubt, but it does it. Uh, the worst part about it is really just there's no wind protection, no fairing. Uh, it's really kind of a commuter, urban little bike. Um, you could outfit him, get a windshield, and, and do a bunch of other stuff, but it's not, I don't say, I don't think that's really this bike's forte. It's fun. It is a fun bike. The handlebars in the riding position make it very easy to control for a new person. Uh, new to motorcycling. So I would definitely recommend this if you're looking at something as a beginner bike. Um, that can last you. I mean, I've had it for three years and I haven't ridden it as much as I would like to because some life events, uh, you know, obviously my wife getting pregnant and kids, I had to kind of really sit there and consider if motorcycling was in my family's best interest simply because, you know, people out here, they just... You can ride as safe as you want, but some somebody not paying attention or something can definitely, obviously, impact your life and other people's lives. So, something I still kind of struggle with on a daily. Um, definitely want to continue to improve upon my skills. I did not grow up riding motorcycles. Um, it was something I've always wanted to do. So, a few years ago, went through a bad breakup and a good time for just growth in general and signed up for the rider course. Fell in love pretty much instantly. Who doesn't, right? Um, passive rider course. I struggled with some of the stuff like when they were teaching the lessons, but when the final test came, they said I just blew it out of the water, which was, they were surprised. They were, I think everybody was surprised on that one. Um, but I think the biggest fear is just getting over, dropping a bike that's not yours and getting sent home or something of that nature. The, the skills themselves, they don't get you out of second gear in that class. So if you're considering taking it, just do it. It's not going to, it's not going to, be bad for you. It definitely 
some useful information there. And then obviously you're supposed to, to practice your skills. Emergency braking, swerving. What do we got going up on here? Um, still consider myself a novice for the most part. You know, um, I try to do most of my riding when there's not a lot of traffic. Like stuff like this is not ideally something, you know, probably nothing compared to some of the cities other people live in. But, you know, being here in this suburban area, got the soccer moms and high school down the road, probably got some teenagers not paying attention. All these distractions out here with this construction. You gotta be on your game, gotta be paying attention, right? Probably shouldn't be talking, but I think I'm doing all right. Construction, awesome. Um, where I live, though, there is a little bit of some back roads. I can always get out and the Indian Reservation on the other side. Not a ton of traffic out there, so I try and get up early Saturday mornings. Get out before traffic. I don't do a lot of highway riding. No, I'm not too scared of the highway. I, really, the scariest part of riding up in motorcycles is is this right here, intersections, left turners. <laughs> Red light blowers, buys, and, you know, I don't know, I don't remember the exact stats, but I want to say the majority of motorcycle accidents happen actually at intersections and are caused by people turning left so they don't see you. So, so this year I actually upgraded to a white helmet, help out a little bit in the visibility department. Um, I wore my winter jacket today. It was a little chilly this morning, uncharacteristically. Uh, but I did buy a, another mesh summer jacket from Scorpion that you know, has white all over and some reflective gear on it. So just, again, thinking a little bit more about safety than, than style now that I'm a father. However, you know, I don't think anybody that rides motorcycles knows there's a little bit of style to it. You know, you want, everybody cares about it, despite what they say. I mean, maybe not. Maybe, you know, over 45 or 50, you don't care that much. But, um, I mean, that's part of the draw, right? Motorcycles are, are always something that people think are, are interesting, I think. A, a nice bike is something that can be appreciated by even somebody that doesn't ride motorcycles. And, you know, I think most people, if they got the chance to actually ride one in a safe environment and, and uh, test something out, they would probably fall in love just like most people that ride motorcycles do. It's definitely a different feeling it's not um, you know, there's obviously the danger that's associated with it but anything can be kind of dangerous you know, even riding cars it's one of those things you got to try and mitigate your risk as much as you can but also accept the fact that yeah you know you could you could definitely get in a bad accident and, and things could not go your way or you might get lucky and they do go your way it just kind of depends I'm, I'm wearing most of my gear I'm not wearing armored pants today. Um, I do have some. Uh, got some leather ones and I uh, got some well, some on Amazon that came actually with some decent padding. They were really cheap for compared to some of the other models at the time. I still wear those every now and then. But I don't normally wear shorts. I always wear my jacket. I always wear my helmet. And I always wear uh, good shoes. I actually have, these are Iron Red Wings, uh, Iron Rangers, Red Wing Iron Rangers. I have a couple pair of Icon, actually one pair of Icon sneaker, Icon Truant or whatever they're called. And then I actually picked up a, a new little pair of like, riding sneakers that I could kind of wear to work and not look so clunky. They're actually really nice. But today I'm just rocking the boots. Leather boots, decent look, I guess. Uh, wear gloves all the time. I got a couple pair of gloves. These are my newer ones. Got some Joe Rockets. These are Scorpion to match my helmet. Uh, I'm just rambling on here again, just testing out the functionality of this camera. 
maybe one day I'll decide to do a blog. Maybe I'll post this to YouTube, maybe not. Um, do an actual formal review of this bike. I think uh, that could be beneficial to some people out there considering it. They've had a lot of updates since 2015. Uh, you know, I think the newer ones actually look pretty cool. This one has like the ugliest exhaust that you could put on a motorcycle. I don't, I don't understand why they did that, but I actually just ordered a little shorty, shorty slip on. Uh, I found one on Amazon for $75 and I'm like, you know what? I'll give it a shot. What's the worst that can happen? I'll send it back if it doesn't work, I guess. Uh, it looked very similar to the Kaufman shorty. It was just all uh, titanium. So we'll see. See how that goes. Finally update that on this. And I wanted to do a couple other things, but if I'm about to either sell it or trade it in, I'm, I might just end up saving that money. Uh, but the new ones, like I was saying, they are, I think they got a little bit better suspension, maybe a little bit more power. I think they tune the engine a little bit differently. Um, and they just look a little cooler. Uh, most of them are solid. I think that they redid the tank. And I, I mean, I like the look of this bike for the most part. I need to do a little fender tidy up. I think we'll make it look a hundred times better. But again, I'm not sure if I want to invest any money right now in it at the end of the day. This was never meant to be my final bike. It was just meant to be something that could I could learn on and I wasn't going to get bored of. And, you know, you always hear that. You're going to get bored of a 250 real quick. Not sure if that would have been the case, uh, but I'm, I'm happy I made the decision I made. This bike, again, you know, very flickable, very easy to handle. The handlebars are a little bit higher than, you know, CB500R, or obviously a 600 RR, or any type of real sport bike. You know, you got the clip-ons down there. You're a little bit less comfortable position. Those bikes are obviously race replica bikes and well, I'm not a racer so look cool a lot of those bikes are beautiful there's just not the kind of riding I you know I just kind of like to cruise so, you know maybe hit a nice stretch and accelerate a little fast for a little bit but not something I want to do you know long term I'm not trying to go 120 200 miles an hour or anything and you know, do something silly so I started riding a little bit later in my life I think late, one of the early 30s, so, you know, I'm not, I like a little bit of speed, but I'm not a speed demon, I, you know, I, I, want, I appreciate a bike that can handle well, and kind of do a little bit of everything, that's really what, what I'm looking for, so, my hunt for the next bike is on, it's been on. I'll probably pay this off by the end of June. And that'll be it. I'll be owning it outright. And I thought about training it in, but I think I'll get a little bit more if I just sell it. Uh, I've never sold anything like that, so I'm just trying to look into the process and hope nobody's out here trying to screw me over or whatever. We shall see. We shall see. You can see this is kind of where I live. So this over here on the right is a, a farm. I think this is either worked by or owned by the reservation out here. I don't know what tribe it is. Uh, I should probably know that, but I don't. Uh, but you can see that not a ton of traffic on these back roads out here. Lots of straights. Uh, a couple turnouts you've got to watch out for. But, you know, it's 6 in the morning on a Saturday. There's, like, nobody out here. You see some cars going down. I don't know if you can see them with this camera, but that mountain over there is a... Uh, Nice little road, little loop you can take. I just want to get out and ride. Maybe not accomplish much, but sometimes riding is not really about accomplishing anything. It's just about getting out and riding. Clear in your mind, being one with the bike, the machine, man and machine, and the road, man. You just, it's hard to explain to people that don't know anything about motorcycles. You know, every time you talk to somebody that doesn't ride, it's always about how you're going to die or something. Or, you know, that always got something to say. And I get it, you know. You see those bad motorcycle crashes, no doubt, but if I had to guess, I, uh, I bet there's just as many car crashes as motorcycle crashes, and I'd be willing to actually know the statistics, you know, here in Arizona, we got these bike lanes, how many of these bicyclists actually get taken out, they wear those little dinky helmets, and they're riding on the roads just like us, 
So I don't ever hear anybody say anything to them. It's always got to be the motorcyclists. We got that bad, bad reputation, I guess. All the squids out there doing wheelies on the highway and revving up early in the morning in their neighborhood or whatever it is, you know. But it is what it is. Uh, you can only try and educate people, you know. Not all of us are like that. I think a lot of people just enjoy riding motorcycles. It's, it's fun, man. It's, you know. Again, like I said, that, that bond, I guess, between man and machine. Um, and I am home, so that wraps up my video, and I don't know where my wife is. So, let's see. Thanks for uh, listening along to me rambling, and maybe... Maybe this will be a common thing. Maybe not. Anyway, have a good weekend.